five things you didn't know about the human skeleton. What is stronger, steel or human bones? Scientists say that our bones are five times stronger than steel. A piece of bone the size of a phone can withstand up to 9,000 kilos. And luckily, they are. Because they protect all important organs in our body, like the brain or heart. What parts of the body have more bones? Out of the 206 bones that an adult has, 52 are found in the feet and 54 in the hands. More than half of the bones we have are found in our hands and feet. It seems unreal, right? Which is the longest bone of the body? And the smallest? The longest bone we have is the femur, which joins the pelvis with the knee. The smallest bone of the body is the stirrup, which is in the ear and measures between 2.5 and 3 millimeters. Now that you see it, do you understand why it's called the stirrup? Of course, it's the same as the stirrup we use to horse ride. Who has more bones in their neck? A person or a giraffe? You've all thought of the giraffe, didn't you? Well, no, there's a drawer. The long giraffe neck has seven bones, seven vertebrae, and exactly the same as a human neck. Who has more bones? A baby or an adult? Well, the baby wins. Having approximately 300 bones. Newborns have some split bones, but over time, some of them are joint until they reach 206 that an adult skeleton has. The truth is that the human body is marvellous, don't you think? Goodbye friends, see you in the next happy learning video! Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Hello friends, welcome to new Happy Learning video. Today, we're going to learn about the human musculoskeletal system. It's what lets us move around. The musculoskeletal system is made up of two systems, the muscular and skeletal systems. The muscular system is the active part of the musculoskeletal system. Muscles are between our bones and skin and they are joined to our bones through tendons. They are elastic organs that can be lengthened or shortened, causing some body part movements. Us humans have approximately 630 muscles. According to the movements that they make, we can differentiate voluntary and involuntary muscles. Voluntary muscles move only when we want them to. And involuntary muscles move without us realising, like our heart or stomach, that are always in movement. The skeletal system is made up of all bones and cartilage. The skeleton gives us our shape that differentiates us from other living things and allows us to walk, run or jump. Our body has 206 bones and each one of them has their own name.
Some of them are skull that protects our brain, the spine that maintains us stable and upright, the jaw allows us to move our mouths to chew food, ribs that protect our heart or lungs, and the femur, the longest bone in the human body and is found in our legs. Bones are joined with each other by joints. They are divided into three groups depending on their level of mobility. Immobile or fixed joints don't have any mobility like the ones that join our skull. Semi-mobile joints do have some mobility but not a lot like vertebrae in our backs. Mobile joints have great mobility like our elbow or knee. Now we've got to know a little more about our musculoskeletal system. Now we need to do plenty of physical exercise to make it work brilliantly and maintain ourselves really healthy. Goodbye friends and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. ¿Sabías que nuestra nariz es capaz de oler más de 50.000 tipos de olores diferentes? Desde siempre se ha pensado que el sentido del olfato en los seres humanos es el menos útil. Pero según la explicación que dan los científicos, cuando olemos, por ejemplo, una rosa, en realidad estamos oliendo 275 olores diferentes, que sumados dan como resultado el olor a rosa. Lo que está claro es que podemos decir sin temor a equivocarnos que oler bien es cuestión de narices. ¿Sabías que si unieras todos los vasos sanguíneos de tu cuerpo medirían aproximadamente 97.000 kilómetros? Parece increíble, pero es cierto. Si pusiéramos en fila todos nuestros vasos sanguíneos, es decir, las venas, las arterias y los capilares, medirían unos 97.000 kilómetros. Podríamos dar dos veces y media la vuelta al mundo. Teniendo esto en cuenta, podemos asegurar que la sangre es muy viajera. Al fin y al cabo, recorre 20.000 kilómetros al día dentro de nuestro cuerpo. ¿Sabías que la palabra cerebro proviene de la palabra latina cerebrum y significa lo que se lleva en la cabeza? Y no nos referimos a un sombrero. El cerebro es una de las partes más fascinantes del cuerpo humano y también de las más curiosas. El cerebro tiene 100.000 millones de neuronas que se encargan, como si fueran un ordenador, de trabajar y procesar la información. Las neuronas tienen formas diferentes y la información viaja a través de ellas a distinta velocidad. Por eso, hay veces que nos acordamos inmediatamente de algo almacenado en el cerebro, mientras que otras veces necesitamos algo más de tiempo para recordar. ¿Y vuestras neuronas? ¿Recordarán estas curiosidades del cuerpo humano? ¡Seguro que sí! Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.